I am Anil Kumar. We are about to start with proving trigonometric identities with compound angles. Let us understand few basics. The question here is, verify that the equation 1 minus sine square x divided by cos x is equal to sine 2x over 2 sine x is true for x equals to pi by 3. That is first part. The second part of this question is, explain why verifying equation for x equals to pi by 3 is insufficient to conclude that the equation is an identity. Right? So let's begin by answering the second part. An equation can have one or more solutions, but identity is one which is true for all permitted values. So, so when we say identity, it is true for all permitted values. So permitted means denominator cannot be zero. So any expression we have will have some restrictions, right? So apart from those restrictions, it should be true for all other values of x. That is what it is. But equation could be true for one or two values. So if we try to write pi by 3 here and we get both sides same, it means definitely for pi by 3, this equation works. But we should check for many different values, right? before we say that it is an identity. So I hope uh, you understand the difference, right? So now what is this expression for x equals to pi by 3? To find that, uh, what we will do is we'll use a special triangle. Uh, you remember pi by 3 triangle? Let me sketch one here. So pi by 3 triangle means if this angle is pi by 3 and that is 90 degrees, then the sides are 1, 2 and square root 3. So let us use pi by 3 triangles, substitute the values and check. So the left side for us is 1 minus sine square x is pi by 3. So let me write pi by 3 here over cos x, which is cos of pi by 3, right? So this is 1 minus. What is sine pi by 3? Sine pi by 3 is opposite over hypotenuse. So I could write this as square root 3 over 2 whole square. And the denominator is cos pi by 3, which is half, so which is 1 over 2, right? So we could simplify this and write 1 minus 3 over 4 over 1 over 2. And this could be written as 4 minus 3, 4 minus 3, taking common denominators 4, divided by 4 over 1 divided by 2. Is it okay? Now that gives you 1 over 4. 1 over 4, let me write like this, and 2 over 1. So that gives me answer as half. So that is one way of solving this. Now let us take up the right side. So we have done the left side, and left side is equal to half. For right side, if I use pi by 3 here, I get sine 2 times pi by 3. So I get 2 pi by 3, right? 2 pi by 3. And uh, denominator is 2 times sine pi by 3. Now, 2 times pi by 3 is how much? 2 times pi by 3 is, let's look into uh, the coordinate system, right? So we have sine of 2 pi by 3. So that means we are in coordinate 2. And sine 2 pi by 3 means that angle sine is positive here and the acute angle is still pi by 3 so the value is same square root 3 over 2 so we can write this as sine of 2 pi by 3 is square root 3 over 2 divided by 2 times sine of pi by 3 is square root 3 over 2 okay square root 3 over 2 and that gives you the answer as half again. So what we see here is that the left side is equal to left side is equal to right side is is equals to half when x is equal to pi by 3. That is what we conclude, right? Now the question is explain why verifying this is insufficient to conclude that the equation is an identity. So we are not sure whether this equation is true for other values and therefore we cannot say that's an identity. 
Now, how can you prove this to be an identity? That's, that's the second question for you. So what you can do here is, you can actually solve and prove. You can start with one side and prove it equal to the other to prove this to be an identity, right? So for example, we can start with the right side. So let me prove this as an identity also. Right side is sine 2x over 2 sine x, right? Sine 2x could be written as 2 sine x cos x. And we have 2 sine x in the denominator. They cancel out, so it is equals to cos x for us. Is it okay? Now, if you look into the left side, that is also cos x. 1 minus sine squared x is cos x. Do you see that? So, so that is also cos x. So, let me just show you what left side is. Left side is 1 minus sine squared x over cos x. Now, 1 minus sine squared x is cos squared x over cos x is equals to cos x. So both sides are actually equal to cos x. Do you see that? Both sides are equal to cos x. You can see here, cos of pi by 3 is half. So you get cos x. So that is how you could say that, well, when right side equals to left side, then it is an identity. So that is how you could prove an equation to be an identity. So equation is an identity only if it is true for all permitted values of the independent variable. Thank you and all the best.